Don't worry, we'll watch each other's back. We got this. Besides, we're in good hands. Imagine having no choices left. Only an all-encompassing madness and rage that you have no hope of understanding. Brr. And they don't even carry any good treasure. Gorgons are the worst. Well, what better spot to weigh out the rain than an appropriately eerie ruin? No one I'd rather weigh it out with, anyway. Rapunzel regards the wet forest for a few more minutes. Then wanders up one of the more sturdy-looking staircases. Hmm. hmm. What's been exposed to the sky for so long now lies covered in lichen. One room, however, remains relatively untouched by the elements. Unexpected. You think it's an old collection? Or some thief's stash? Does it matter? Someone puts so much effort into memorializing these moments. Makes you wonder how many times stories like ours have played out. This one! The weaving's not like the others! Among other differences, no one I've seen ever weaves like that. Why anyone would want this in their collection, I'm not sure. The tapestry breathes a shivering aura in, then out again. Rapunzel steps closer to the tapestry and focuses her eyes beyond its surface, as if trying to peer deeper inside. There's more tied up in these threads. If someone was willing to... Rapunzel. <sighs> Don't get yourself... <gasps> Snap! Rapunzel is thrown against the back wall. Skittering, shiny limbs begin to spasm outwards from the tapestry as it unravels. Ah, oh, wonderful! Thrixel! I love these dragon bugs. Just really annoying to fight sometimes. Anyways... Easy enough to deal with. Well, there's a Dweaver back there. Swap weapon. See if we can take this thing out quickly enough. Oh! Wonderful! Okay! Well... This thing is almost down. I'm gonna have Snow take out this thrust over here, because it's huge and really annoying. You... <sighs> I don't know what I can have you do. Fred, why don't you go ahead and... Just poison this one over here. Oh, never mind. That didn't work. All 
Alright, well. I could just have you give this thing a good whack. Or just blind that bard. It's dead anyway, so I didn't really need to worry about it too much. Ah. Okay. There's another Thrusk that we have to worry about. Well, um, that one's gonna die pretty quickly. So, I will move you... down here... And act as a guardian! Rapunzel, go ahead. Interfuse with this thing. I'm gonna move you down here. And then just use a discus against that dweaver. Why don't you come down over here? And just shoot that dweaver. Oh, never mind. At least that thing's dead. We killed another one. Oh, okay. Well, you can just bash that one and kill it. Red, can you take out the dweaver now? Thank you. And that should take care of that. After the last creature falls, what is left of the tapestry drops and whips apart with a crackle. One more figure is expelled from it before the threads curl and burn away. <laughs> You're human, or close enough. But are you real this time? As real as anything else in the yandering. Hmm, that's what they said the other times. Hmm, give us a chance, and I think you'll find that we persist quite well. What do you remember? A name Caleb Widogast. Enough of a childhood, long ended adventures. But not much of what you're as actually asking about. It's hard to tease apart what happened and what didn't. A sense of time passed, and a sense of purpose, fighting something. Then perhaps not so much has changed. We are fighting too, it turns out. If you want to pick up where you left off, you look like someone who can watch it back in battle. Now this is a very tempting choice. I know he's not a fairy tale character. Caleb Widogas, that is. Unless you consider the Waldhexer. And I know my German sucks. I am so sorry about that. Much as I would always love another legacy character. No. Thanks, but this isn't where I need to be right now. I'm barely an outline of a person at this point. I've got things to figure out. But good luck with, uh... Who did you say you were? The Poets of Lost Stories. Right. A company. Well, whatever keeps you on the same page. The party moves on after the rain clears, leaving Caleb with some food and an unknown path ahead. When the moon's gone, all the stars seem happier. Reminds me of a tavern hall before your face darkens the window, dear. Rapunzel? Shh! She doesn't know! Anyway, it's a good omen. The brightening stars. What do you need omens for, love? You know, long ago, a tree watcher read the leaf patterns for me. Told me I'd fall for an endlessly questing woman. I believe almonds now, much more than I used to. I don't need one, but I watch for them all the same. That's good. 
If it gives you confidence, I'd just say don't trust almonds over much. Reminds me of... Can I still remember the story? Rapunzel tries to remember the tale of the Starman, but ends up telling the story of Telestra Starborn instead. It's a good story. And so everybody begins with two temporary hit points. That's actually pretty good, I would say. You can have some pretty annoying annoying Gorgons to deal with, but you know, that's just par for the course at this point. You... Go ahead and whack it. You can interfuse with these tentacles and give a nice good discus. And then you just step on right up here. There we go. Open this door. And why don't you silk step on inside? You, come on in. And go ahead and start guarding against foes. And you should also come on up here. Ah, yes, there we go. Let's go ahead and have you apply some poison. And give this one a good whack. You take another step closer inside. Hmm. Well, you can pin these things. And you can come on over and shoot either one, really. Or really, we should have gone for the other row. Oh well. At least we can take that out like that. And that's it. Snow is now a blue horn warrior. Ooh, interesting. So she could be a raider, she can start a fire on an empty tile, or break a piece of adjacent scenery, dealing two damage to Alphos' scenery. Okay, okay. Um... Zealous Leap, every other turn, as a swift action, she makes a daring leap up to three paces away. Long Reach could be very useful, plus one range with all attacks and abilities. That, mixed with a Paladin, could be very useful, actually. I'm gonna go with Long Reach. You know what? We ought to give Red her hood, her red cloak, you know? Red deserves to have her red cloak. Just perfect. <laughs> 